So today we don't have a lot of time. I want to ask three questions that researchers really need to be asking. Why do some people get concussions and other people don't? What makes the brain weak and susceptible to injury? What heals the brain and keeps it strong? And lastly, how to diagnose a concussion. So why do some people get concussions and others don't? I mean, I was playing soccer one time and with the kids and, and the team, and I accidentally head, headed the ball right on top of my head. And I heard the crunch and I felt it, but no, nothing ever happened. I have a friend who told me about how a four by eight foot um, particle board fell right on top of his head from a distance. He was fine. I have a friend who uh, was checked into the boards at an indoor soccer uh, center. The bang of it just reverberated around the huge building. He skipped one shift, came back to play. A few years later, I ran into him again. He never had a problem. So why do some people get them and others don't? Here are some clues that Chinese medicine teaches us. Each one of us is born with strengths and weaknesses, but we don't know what they are until we run into a situation that upsets or angers us, that definitely causes some emotional pain. Oh, the latest information from Western uh, medicine actually tells us that people with concussions and PCS have a pre-existing mental emotional situation. So they're beginning to validate what we know. And a brain injury is always 